All right, so today we're talking about uh, the worksheet review circles. So it's a general overview of everything we've, we've kind of talked about, very, very superficial, but just gives you a good idea of where you're at. So let's go through these problems and see, see how you did. Um, first question says arc HK. So if we look here, arc HK is going to be here, and we know that the arc is gonna equal the central angle. So, and it's also a minor arc. So this is actually a vocabulary question. So this is gonna be minor. They're looking for the minor arc. The measure of the arc now is based off the central angle. So this arc here is gonna be 122 degrees. All right, arch, arc HLK is going to be a major arc, right? And the measure of that will be 360 minus 122. The whole thing is 360. We're gonna subtract the 122 we have here which gives us an arc measure of 238 degrees. All right, number two, we're talking about arc length, right? And so arc length is going to be the degrees we want over 360 times the circumference, right? So in this problem, they want arc 8x, p, and y. So we're talking about this major arc right here. They give us this is 90, which tells us if we do 360 minus 90, this is a 270 degree uh, part of the circle. So what we're gonna do is 270 divided by 360 times two times six. The, the radius is six, so we're gonna use two times the radius times pi to get our uh, circumference. And when you type that whole thing in the calculator, you should get an answer of nine pi. All right, and that's to find arc length. All right, next question talks about the shaded region. And so in this problem, this is the shaded region they're talking about. So this one, what we're gonna do is take the degrees divided by 360, times the area of the circle. So in this case, it's gonna be 105 divided by 360 is equal to the radius squared times pi. And in the final, because they want it in the nearest 10th, the final answer will be 206.2 as your area. All right, number four, we have two tangent lines. And so what we have is because we have a radius to a tangent, these two angles are 90 degrees. And we have a kite, which is a quadrilateral. And a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So if both of these are 90, we have 180 degrees left. So that means that this plus this has to add up to 180. Well, they tell us that angle C is 106. So this 106 plus X has to add up to 180. And if we do the math, we get 74 degrees as our answer. All right, next question. We have a tangent here and we have a radius. And so we know this is gonna be our 90 degree angle. They give us this distance is 25, what they don't tell us is this. And this is the radius, which they told us is 12. So this whole distance right here is going to be 37 and 12. And so what we end up having is we have x up here. That's what they want you to find. So we have x squared plus 12 squared is equal to 37 squared, right? And if we do the Pythagorean theorem, work our way through, we would get a value of 35 for that distance. Right. For number six, uh, they, they want to know the perimeter and they tell us these are all tangents. So this is where we're going to be given three things, right? We're going to be given JA, right? We're going to be given AL, and we're also going to be given CK. So whatever JA is, it's also going to be JB. Whatever AL is, it's also going to be LC and so on. So when you plug these in, we end up with this, this value here. 14 was given, so this is gonna be 14. 13 was given, so this is gonna be 13. Five is given, so this is gonna be five here. And now we add up these values and we get a perimeter of 64. We get a perimeter of 64, right? Okay, on this one here, they want you to find the value of x, which is a radius. Well, in order to do that, we need to create a uh, right triangle. This is 9. This whole chord is 14. And we know that a chord perpendicular to a radius or diameter is going to bisect it. So what we end up having is a triangle of sorts where this is the radius. This is going to be 7. This is going to be 9. It doesn't look to scale, and that's okay. And so we're trying to find this. The answer is going to be 11.4. For those that need a little Pythagorean theorem review, right? we have 9 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared. And when we go through the math, we end up with the square root of 130, which would be in decimal form 11.4. All right, number eight, we have the area of a shaded segment. And so in this problem here, this is like the, 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 the crust that I would call a pizza. 
So the first thing we have to do is find the area of the sector. And that's what we did on a previous problem is we take the degrees we want, which is 120, divided by 360 times the area of the circle. So we have 24 squared times pi, and we get a decimal value of 602.9. On these problems, the decimal value is what we want because we're gonna get one part pi, one part not pi, and then the answer is kind of weird. So we wanna make sure that our values in this problem are in decimal form. All right, that's the first part. That's not the final answer. Now we have to take the area of just the triangle. And so what we do for the area of the triangle is we're gonna go radius squared times sine of 120 divided by two. And when we do that, we should get 249.4. And then the last thing is to find the segment. We're going to subtract these two values and we should get 353.9.